We're standing here in the entrance hall of the brand new Wedgwood Museum. The Wedgwood Museum Trust collection of wonderful ceramics has been packed away for the last nine years and it's wonderful that these treasures are going to be reopened to the public. Visitors arriving to the museum will find that the galleries are arranged chronologically and they start by entering into a bottle kiln and all the way around the museum there are things for people to touch, things to listen to and interrogate, putting the ceramics into a world context. Josiah Wedgwood during his lifetime did an enormous number of experiments and many of these are on display for the first time in these drawers. And here we have one of the great icons of the collection, the celebrated family portrait painted by George Stubbs, showing Wedgwood and his wife and all the children. One of the most surprising elements of the building is a very modernistic interpretation of a bottle oven. But once you come inside, it's totally different. It is a reincarnation of a neoclassical building. And for the very first time, we've been able to show Wedgwood's great library busts at the height for which they were designed to be seen. Everybody knows the Great Portland Vase. But what people probably don't realise is that the Trust collection contains a lot of the original trials, even the original wax models, which went into making that wonderful vase. And this is considered to be one of the finest ones in the public collection, made for Thomas Hope, the antiquarian from Amsterdam. The early years of the 19th century saw a very different style of decoration for Wedgwood and the company had large London premises where they showed a range of their pieces. This part of the museum is a reconstruction of those showrooms in York Street. The beginning of the 20th century saw a very dramatic change. Gone was the drabness of the First World War and Wedgwood produced things like Fairyland Luster designed by Daisy Maycake Jones with these vibrant colours which was such a change. The 1930s and the Art Deco period saw an enormous change and Wedgwood were fortunate to have the work of Keith Murray. Keith Murray was also the architect who designed the factory on which we're based. The new building has given us the opportunity for the first time to put out the huge range of the 20th century pieces. Obviously, we're really looking forward to the opening our doors to the public and we hope that everybody will find something to enjoy, everything from the littlest to the oldest person.